So the other day, my wife and I were helping uh, clean out her aunt's garage. And uh, she ended up giving us this awesome uh, old uh, ride-on Jeep, which is in pretty great condition. But because it's so old, the, uh, the old lead-acid batteries just are completely dead. They don't hold the charge anymore at all. And uh, so I tried looking for replacements for these. And I couldn't find any. I could find like just one of the red batteries, but with a different connector, or new batteries that had the same power output as these, but with a totally different new connector. And uh, it just didn't like, seem like it would be even possible to replace these anymore. But then uh, I got thinking, you know, what is it possible to just use uh, cordless batteries from a, from a power tool and uh, adapt them somehow? So I looked into that. Found some cool products on Amazon. Decided to order one of them. Gonna open that up here. All right. So what this is, bring it closer to the camera. It's a uh, adapter for a uh, Dewalt uh, cordless battery, the 20 volt max ones. And then this is a uh, step down uh, voltage converter. Um, you can see the uh, input is uh, 20 volts. Output is 12 volts with a max of 15 amps, which should work pretty well for us. Because if we look at the old batteries here, um, we got six volts, nine and a half amps, and there's two of these in, in, uh, in series. So it adds to 12 volts, nine and a half amps. So hopefully we should be able to match that 12 volts, 9.5 amps, but just uh, with uh, regular old uh, wall batteries, just like I have on my tools. First I want to test and see if this uh, yep, does seem to fit, so that's cool. This little kit also came with the, uh, man, what are these even called? Wire connector box thing. So I'm going to see if I can get it hooked up to our little Jeep. Put a little, uh, I don't know what size this is. I think it's like one, just one or one and a half amp hours. This one's pretty old and tired, so it probably won't be enough to power the, the Jeep, but we'll see. Okay, let's see if anything happens. All right, so it took me a second to figure out what was going on. Um, I'm going to show you here what my problem was. So, you see, we've got uh, the original batteries, two batteries, four wires. Uh, we're coming into this guy. Those four connectors come into here, so one of them would loop back around and then go into the other battery um, since the power would pass through both batteries before looping all the way through. So we would have, um, in the end, the negative coming from one battery and the positive coming from another battery, and this looping through to connect the, the two batteries together in series. Now we are only going from uh, one battery. So where initially I had it hooked up with both white wires and both black wires coming through here. What was happening is uh, the power was, was looping back around through this and essentially uh, draining the battery, but with nothing useful happening. None of the power going to the, uh, the Jeep motors themselves. 
So now I've got it looped so that uh, this, sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone and do stuff. So this uh, black wire goes through into this black wire. And then this white wire goes through into this pink wire. So we've got negative, negative, positive, positive. And uh, these two that uh, are you know, on this loop thing on the other end, they're just going to nothing because there's no need to loop because we're doing just one battery instead of two. Now that I've got it set up that way, this thing has got some kick. Forward and reverse seem to work correctly, so uh, now it's just uh, time to mount these guys a little better and then get my daughter out here and see how she likes it. All right. Now I've got everything mounted. Here I've got this 10 amp hour one. I think this is pretty much as big as it gets uh, size wise. Uh, I know there are, are also the 60 volt uh, DeWalt batteries. In theory, these should, they should work with these just fine as well. Uh, but we'll slide that in. Uh, it does kind of touch the motor thing here a bit, but that shouldn't matter. I just went ahead and wired nutted these up together because they aren't doing anything. Essentially, it's just uh, these two, the black and the white wire go in, and then they loop back around to this orange wire. So this is just a closed loop of wire that does nothing because it's just not needed anymore since we're now running off of one battery instead of the original two. Uh, just to show off the uh, capabilities of this though, we're gonna take the giant battery off. <laughs> And I'm just going to put this little DeWalt battery on, put the seat back on, and get my daughter out here to try it out and see how well it runs just off of the little battery. It is. It is fixed. So now when you push that pedal, it's going to go. <laughs> wow. Did it go? Push the pedal again. What happens? Yeah. We'll keep pushing it down. Hold it down. Okay, you got to steer. Oh, Alright, we'll steer, steer and go at the same time. Don't crash into cars. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to drive Goose? Yeah. 